Okay, so I wanted to make a little video. I'm really nobody, but this is on the Tilta Kronos cage for the iPhone 17 Pro Max. And I wanted to make a video outlining an issue I found with this cage that's pretty annoying. And nobody's really talking about it. And I've been trying to call Tilta customer support and I'm not getting any feedback. But as you can see, I got the ultimate kit which is the cage, the grip, the little light, the fan it comes with, the USB hub, which came with an 18 centimeter extension cable. I also got with that the filter holder for the 58 millimeter filter and a filter, which is the neutral density. In all the videos that I've seen, and it comes with this Thing that goes on the back that's a, a kind of a uh, stand. I, I don't really like this, but <clears throat> let me get back to the point here. In all the videos that I've seen, it talks about how this grip that comes with it, which fits onto here, when you plug this into the base of the iPhone and put this grip on, which it fits, it powers up the cage, gives power to these things here, and through Bluetooth, it allows you to control a couple different apps, either the Blackmagic or the native iPhone app. And I don't really need to get into that. But it also has the ability to power this hub. And this USB hub's got multiple USB ports, USB-C ports, and HDMI port. And it also works on this, this cage. So... The way this, this hub has no power by itself. The way it gets power is when you plug this handle in, there's two different, two different ways this works. One is that you take this extension cable here. This goes into here. This is just going to dangle. This goes into here. This plugs into the phone like this. The grip goes onto here, and then this goes in to here. This now powers the cage and this hub. And now you can put an SSD drive and an additional monitor. The problem with this is, is that they list a second way of doing this to also power the phone. And there's a manual that you can download on the page for this hub. On the page for the Kronos iPhone 17, there is no manual. And there's no explanation of how to put this together. But on the page for the hub, there's a manual that shows multiple ways of putting this thing together and it also shows a cage for the iPhone 15. And what they show in there is that if you notice there's a USB-C power delivery on this side here. There's one over here. And what they show is they show this case, this hub, I'm excuse me, being mounted in the opposite direction like this. And then both these cables being used. This one which plugs into the phone is plugged into here in the front. This gives you power. This plugs into the phone. And then when this piece is locked in place here, this is plugged into here. And what this does is, the final assembly will kind of look like this. What this does is, this powers the cage, the hub, and the phone. Gives you battery power to the phone. The problem is, with the iPhone 17 cage, it's impossible to flip this thing around. It only mounts in one direction, and I'm going to show you. And the way these things work is you push this button in. You push this button in, and this goes here like this. It locks in place, and you lock that. And that only works in one direction because what happens is to get this thing to work, there's a little pin that gets depressed here. When it gets depressed, these two clamps lock in place. That resets it. They always tell you to hit the reset first. Well, it won't work going in this direction. I've tried a million times. The reason why it won't work is because this cage is beveled and there's no way to lock that pin in place. The bevel doesn't allow that pin to get depressed. So with the iPhone 17, it's impossible to power it in three different three different ways, meaning you can't power the cage, the hub, and the phone at the same time using this battery grip. Now, unless Tilta's got some other way of doing it, I've been checking through their customer service. I can't get a hold of them. 
The only other option I can find is a secondary 18 centimeter cable and using a, a dual female USB to USB hub, which would actually go onto this, making this longer because this thing is too short. If you mount this the way it's supposed to be mounted in this direction, which is like this, hold on a second. There's no way to get this piece over here where it needs to be. If you were to get a USB-C double female, it would work. You'd be able to plug into here and into here. But the way it stands and the way it's shipped, unless I'm missing something, there's absolutely no way to flip this thing around to get this USB port closer to here. Unless somebody knows a different way of doing it, you can't, I don't even think, honestly, let me look and see. But I don't think you can even do it to these front ones. But And I don't think those are power delivery, but let me look and see. Yeah, there's not even enough room to get this from here to here. So it, it's kind of misleading the way they say that you can do that. The, the manual, because the iPhone 15 case is different. It works differently. But unless somebody's got a different way of doing it, let me know, comment on the video. But as I can see right now with the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max case for this Kronos system, there's no way to do power delivery to the cage hub and the phone at the same time. All right.